Uh, Brian, uh, do you hear me? I do. I hear you. Do you hear me? Uh, I do indeed. Um, That's... Some technical difficulties. No, no, we seem to be working and uh, you're coming across loud and clear. Uh, give me oh, a sound t- check. Uh, testing one, two, three, Aussie days here. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, hold on, shall I share this on Facebook as well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not it's... ready for prime time. All right. Okay, wait, wait. We're going we're gonna to start the show. Um, we're going to okay. be all professional wait. about this. You ready to wait, start the show? none of that was actually shared yet? This is all going out live. Uh, it's all being Uh-oh. recorded. Um, there is presently the uh, massive total of nobody listening to this except you and me. How do, how do you tell? Oh, wait, I see a zero next to an ER on the. Correct, on the exactly. Well, uh, what's I, the point? I have it's tweeted like if it, this. If, if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, then what's the point? So that's why I'm going to share it on Facebook. <laughs> okay, share it, share it on Facebook. I want to see at least that number zero turn to, into a one. That's the magic number. Somebody and when it joined. turns into a one, I will start making sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm putting this on. Uh, I'm putting that. Shall I I'll put it on the actual? Shall I put it on the Israeli cool page as well? What Israeli? You mean the actual? Uh, I'm sharing actual, it from my Facebook. Yeah, uh, put it on the Facebook page as well. Yeah. Go on. This, this okay, is a... this, this could kill, this could absolutely kill Israeli Corp. Okay. This it's all on, it's is all a or nothing. I'm going all in, right? experiment. Oh, we have one. We have one. Dave uh... and, why, who's joined? I don't know. Somebody's... How do you tell who's joined? Ah, if they're anonymous, we have one anonymous listener, Dave and Brian. Oh, it's a lurker. A lurker. Join us. Join us now. For the first ever Israeli cool Z cast. Oh, that that sounds a bit ominous. I mean, that that's uh, actually setting up some expectations that there'll be more than one. Publish. Okay, I'm putting that out now. Okay, while well, we, you know, we've got to be professional about this now that we have a listener. Hello, listener. Hello, welcome. This is Tel Aviv. <laughs> what? You see, I've even got oh. sound effects and everything. No, that, that, how that, that, how professional second, is this? Second. That that was not authorized. That's Shy Network News <laughs> music. <laughs> it is. I'm going to need some. I need something like specific. Um, but you're, do, you're, do you remember David whatever? Bowie. You, David Bowie. You're, David Bowie. Okay, we'll have to look Has for to something. Be David Bowie. Yep, Pod absolutely. safe. You remember what happened every time we used to say Carl Rove on uh, on the Shire Network News? We can what, you do had all a of werewolf? that. Yeah, yeah. Every time we said Carl Rove, so um, oh, okay. and I, you know I've got this for the background. <laughs> anyway, okay. anyway, have we still got? No, we've got two. Oh, li- we oh hello. We have Yoni as well. Hi, Yoni. Hello, Yoni. Okay, so this is the inaugural, uh, you can't see us, but we're both drinking drunk podcast. Decast, as it were. <sighs> okay, what are you drinking? That We should start there. Okay, um, well, basically, I did a barbecue this morning at about 10 o'clock in the morning for Shabbat. Okay. And, of course, when I barbecue, I need to drink beer. Yeah. I mean, that's just how you do it. That's how I roll. Obviously. And uh, that was this morning. Now, that was a long time ago, so... I, you know, I, I'm getting ready for Shabbat, and before Shabbat, I either have whiskey or wine, and this week it's it's actually wine, red wine. How oh, about you? I'm actually drinking a very special glass of Sagot uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which I picked up at the 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 winery um, when I visited there with Ryan. So there's a story. This I'm drinking Occupation wine. Ryan wine. Ryan Occupation wine. Ryan. Hi, Elder. We've got Elder. This is this is almost a celebrity. Hello, Elder. So we have one <laughs> lurker, we have Yoni, and one anonymous guy. We or do. Elder, who's anonymous, but he's well known. Lachaim, guys. So we we Lechaim, everyone. We are supposed to. We decided we're going to talk uh, about this week's Israeli cool news. So. Um, well, I mean, we said we would talk the news. I mean, some of the it news. might have actually been covered by Israeli. No, cool, no. But let's not. Only 
you know, all of the news that's fit to talk about is was covered on Israeli Cool, right? Really? Yeah, that obviously. That is not an objective that I set. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's a lot of pressure. I do not believe that I covered all the important stuff this week. But okay, <laughs> whatever, you're well, in charge. Well, we don't want to talk about Trump then. Well, we can actually talk about Trump. That might actually make for a very interesting debate. Yes. Because I know you're a huge fan and I think he's a bit of a wally. I'm not a huge fan. Like, don't get me wrong. I just, firstly, I think that, you know, American politics is a complete... You know, it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous, and this is just so entertaining. How can we how can we turn down such great entertainment value? Oh, and, I know. And, I totally agree with you there. It's like the the old WWF, or maybe the WWF is still going on. I used to be a big fan as a kid of the wrestling, the World Wrestling yeah, Federation. And Trump course. is like, you know, he's like, um, I'm just trying to think of a good equivalent wrestler. I don't know. Um, one of the more brash, loudmouth, obnoxious wrestlers that there were. Uh, Mr. Perfect, maybe? I don't know. I, you know, I, 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 I kind of... I, giant haystacks I remember from my childhood, but that was probably what? 30 years ago. No, that's, this is before, that's before my this time, was old man. <laughs> real, real wrestling uh, Wait, back in the day. You're, you're probably, you know, Bruno San Martino uh, era. So, uh, and hey, hey, you, uh, we have my Dutch friend uh, we have in, in the room. We have Eurogirl. Hi, Eurogirl. Nice to uh, Wait, Euro, see you. Eurogirl is actually from Holland? No, uh, Jupe is, but he lives somewhere else. He lives in Israel, ah. so but he's Dutch. Ah, okay, hi. He, he tweets out my tweets in Dutch from time to time, which is quite oh, entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. I just don't understand one word. Yes, in Dutch. Well, you know, it might, might as well be Dutch. Dutch to me. Yeah. yeah. No, but no, here, here's the thing with Trump is that, um, look, everybody else is ridiculous. And, and Trump's the most sensible candidate there is. I mean, Hillary, we... Oh, by know, the way... Um, yes. I see Yoni wrote Million Dollar Man would be the wrestler equivalent. Yes, ah, I agree with that. Ah, okay. I, I see that because Million. he's worth millions of dollars. Well, billions. I mean, maybe, maybe. He might be bankrupt. I don't know. But of course, so I, get, and I remember, get the reference. And, you know, we, we, you know, everybody goes on about his uh, billions and how he's influencing politics. Nobody ever mentions Soros. Who's sitting there? I think he's got double the net worth of Trump. <laughs> Soros, I love yeah, the name Soros. Soros. Exactly. I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. The guy who is, it's I think, mis- right, right, right. He's trying. He's trying to actually start civil war in Europe. That's what he's doing. Hmm. And and okay. people say Trump is the problem. I think Trump. Another wrestler that might um, sort of be analogous to Trump could be the Iron Toop. The Iron Toop. I have no All idea right. what that means. Okay. Well, I mean, he, his hair, it's a reference <laughs> to his hair. But okay. Oh, okay. To pay. Yeah, to pay. To pay. To pay or not to pay, that is the question. All right. So, um, we, we, well, we've had a few good stories this week. I mean, oh, wait. Thank, thank you to Yoni's hubby, Dave, for yes. that. Okay. Ah, okay. Dave. Hello, Dave. Fellow Aussie, by the way. Of course. We know. You know, it's, it's, well, so it's, he makes a lot of sense. That's right. So the big story, Am Israel High was a big story, wasn't it? That one, the, the uh, violating what story Facebook. Is that exactly? What Am story? Israel High, you know, the nation of Israel ah, lives. Ah, Facebook being evil again. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's, that's, that's evil. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? Do we think that we will eventually all be chucked off Facebook and, and it will just become a cesspool of anti-Israel hatred? Mm, I don't know. Maybe people will leave Facebook. They'll just get fed up. The question is, what is the alternative? I mean, we have Twitter, of course, but I think that Twitter, it serves a bit of a different need, at least in my, in my mind. Um, I agree. I, I'm so, I'm, I'm actually into Facebook. I mean, I, I don't like all this stuff and um, it makes me very angry and sad and frustrated, but it's sort of like a bit of a drug. I know yeah. it's bad for me, but I just can't get enough of it. It's a terrible you? drug. No, it's the same. And and I was just bewailing the fact that I shared all sorts of interesting and useful and encouraging stuff this week. And then for the first time in my entire life, a photograph I shared has got more than 700 likes. And it's a stupid story about girls kissing a bathroom mirror. I, what's up with that? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I I mean I just you know, one of those stupid little things where something's written on a piece of paper and somebody photographs it. And it's a story about uh, girls in a school kissing a bathroom mirror. And then um, 
the, 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 mm. it's, it, the, you know, they're putting on lipstick and they're kissing the mirror. And then the headmistress mm. is saying that there's too many, it's taking the, the cleaning guy too long to wash the mirror. So she brings all of the girls into the bathroom one day and says, look, this is, this is what the janitor has to do to clean the mirror. So the janitor pulls out his squeegee, dips it in the toilet and cleans the mirror. And after that, no more kisses on the mirror. But anyway, that story got me 700 and something likes now, and I have no <laughs> idea why. It's a shame he didn't post it on the blog and, and generate a bit of traffic. I know, but it's dumb. It's not. It, I, anyway, I just have <laughs> to share tough. dumb stuff, perhaps. Yeah. Toilet humor. Toi- toilet humor. That's what sells. Toilet humor. Oh, yeah. what a- <laughs> oh my kids are calling me. Um, so, uh, what else? What else? I mean, you're asking a guy that's drunk beer in the morning and a couple of glasses of wine in the afternoon, what else? You really mm. want to know the answer to that? Or you want to kind of lead me? <laughs> uh, let's lead Option you. B is the better alternative. Option B. We just, we need fun. You know, what was fun? Well, well we what, just I mean, put... what, what news? Let's think of the news this week. I mean, uh, a lot happened. I mean, you know, the usual stuff. There were a lot, you know, I mean, all the, the terror attacks going on. I just can't keep track anymore. And I don't think there's much else we can really say about it. No. no. If you have a particular angle. On the terror attacks, no. The, the, the only angle I have on the terror attacks is that we're not going anywhere. I mean, really? This is it? That's, you know, I don't want to, like, you know, to encourage them to do more. But it really, it's not going to dislodge anybody. Really, it isn't. I saw, t- actually, I did see, you know, there was a, a guy was out running and he was stabbed. And so today, dozens or I don't know how many of people were out running on the same path, exactly where he had been running. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that. Great, that's, great initiative. That's what we do. You know, we're not going anywhere. We're, we're home. This is, uh, this is my favorite message of having spent some time with Ryan here is, is, is coming to this absolutely crystal clear realization that because we are home, none of these little sort of make it nasty to be here stuff will dislodge us. I mean, it causes us tourist problems, I guess. The tourists get scared. But, um, you know, even then, well, we st- we, yeah. we've still got lots of visitors. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's the thing. I mean, uh, we're, we're resilient. I mean, uh, we're stubborn and to a fault. Uh, yeah. When I say we, I mean us Jews. We're stubborn yeah. as hell. But no, you too, um, in this particular case, you know, we, we sort of uh, dig our heels in and we're like, we're not going anywhere. Not only that, we, we you know, do something like today where we go on that trail where the runners were stabbed and we're like, hey, we're here. Deal with it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, they're just shooting themselves. They, they might be stabbing us, but they're shooting themselves in the foot. Couldn't I mean, agree them more. Them being the, the terrorists. Yeah. That's so it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna cow. We're not gonna run away. No, I mean, I, I, I like tomorrow. I'm going. I'm taking my kids down to the desert. Actually, an uh, interesting trip. I'm going down to CK uh, uh, in Arad. Mm. Uh, oh, very nice. You know, I'm. You know, I'm, I'm obviously driving. Shh, don't tell. But you don't um, have to say anything. It's just between <laughs> the two of us. No one nobody's else listening. Has to know about us. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so that's yes. So we'll be. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take them off roading in the desert. I'm not going on the uh, the infamous um, track of Ryan's doom. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're gonna stick to safer, the, safer places. Wait, wait. That's the name of the trail now, right? Ryan's doom. Yeah, I think I, the, actually the next time I'm go there on ways. If I ever go there again, I'm gonna actually <laughs> record it on ways, and then I'm gonna put the name. I'm gonna change the name of the road to Path of Ryan's Doom. <laughs> No, I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. Ryan's doom. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I, I, we haven't said anything terribly embarrassing yet, which is good. Well, um, the, the night is still young. The say. night is still young. I mean, we could do something like, I'm just, can I, let, let's see if live, if I can what? actually do. Um, what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. You know, this is the first time I've really tried properly to do a bit of this live stuff. Oh dear, that's going to upset my son. So, wait, you're not you're not going to you're not going to turn on the video, are you? Oh, I can't do video, but I can. I wonder if that. Are you hearing that? 
I did hear it. It kind of interrupted my train of thought. All right, we've got that lined up for the uh, play out then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just uh, if I embarrass, you know, if I say anything embarrassing, you can kind of just switch that on and drown exactly. me out. Exactly. That's yeah. it. So, um, so other big what news else? this Let's... week. Come on, what else? What, what what else did we do well? At the, we, you know, we've 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 had a good. Well, week. I mean, uh, um, I just actually posted something about the air bed and breakfast dude. Mario. Oh, that's great! Yes, yes. I mean, uh, I love... We could talk a little bit about Mario. Mario, Ma- way out there, Mario. Yeah, Mario, anti-Semite or just plain anti-Zionist? That's the question. No, there's no question. I mean, it, there was nothing in that story that uh, you know. I'm not big on the whole accusing people of anti-Semitism unless there's actual evidence. And believe me, most of the time I do find evidence. And then that's I the point. Them. Look, but if I didn't, you, if... unless you saw something. He Unless is you saw accusing. That I didn't see. Wait, wait one second. Unless yeah. you saw something I didn't see, I didn't see anything anti Semitic. He was just basically a guy that really. So, just a bit of background for the five people listening. Hello, five people. Um, basically, there was a guy, he listed on air, bed, and breakfast, um, a place, um, what, somewhere in London? Near, near Marble, Marble Arch. Something or other. Marble right, Arch. You, yeah, Marble Arch. That's the place. Yep. Yes. Um, I was desperately trying to find out his identity, but alas, I couldn't find it. Yeah. And basically, an Israeli person who wanted to travel to England contacted him and said he wanted to stay in his place. He wanted a quote. And this Mario dude basically said, I'm not letting you stay in my place, you illegal occupier, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's sort of a summary of what he said. Which is just disgusting and bigoted. Uh, I mean, you sign up to these things, and there, there are no strings attached. Yeah, you, you I, cannot I, make. And did you think he would have refused it to someone from China, where there are huge human rights abuses, or you know, let's name not. name the no. place? Of course not. He's no, singling it's out just Israel. Israeli. Yeah, just Israel. So while I looked, I didn't see anything inherently anti-Semitic in the message that Mario conveyed. One can always. Think Listen, about it. This is what the is point. motivating Mario's uh, views? Does he does he automatically open up the uh, human rights record of every country of the, uh, of every mm-hmm. person who books and check to see whether they're on the good list or the bad list? And my guess is no. It's just Israel is a trigger word. And as far as I'm concerned, for anybody for whom Israel is the sole and only cause that they look at. Look, this week they came out and said that four. Listen, 400,000 people have been slaughtered in Syria. I mean, and that uh, some, you know, you know, I think it's one in 10 of the civilian population of Syria from four years ago is now dead. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. And this guy is worried about Israel and our human, human, right, human rights record. Really? Yeah. So I, my, my view is that there's a presumption that People like Mario do have Jew hatred views. There is a presumption, yeah. But I, you know, I, I set myself onerous, uh, you know, um, standards, and you know, I like to have the proof. Yeah. But I really, my spidey senses are always tingling when I see something like that because, as you said, if you're singling out Israel, I mean, if it's one thing if you're consistent, yeah. Okay, if you if you look at Syria, you look at all these other places, and you say. And I'm not going to also let you from Israel come. I might disagree, but there's a consistency there. There might be a consistency based on supreme ignorance. Yeah. But I can't say, I I won't suspect anti-Semitism necessarily. I might just think this is a person who's ignorant and needs educating. But however, if you're just singling out Israel amongst all these human rights abusers, then by G, by crikey, by jingo, I'm going to think you're anti-Semitic. That's the point. Yeah, what can and that they is do? the point. And they, you know, they they use this defense that you know you're just trying to silence anti-Israel views by shouting on anti-Semitism. Don't insult my intelligence, please. I'm smarter than you. Okay, we are smarter than you. We know what's going on. Oh. And we're not smarter than you because we're Jewish. We're smarter than you because we're educated, and you're not fooling anyone. Okay, you know, at least work on your cover story. Do you know what I mean? People are not stupid. Work yeah. on your cover story, at least. Be consistent. But a lot of the times, they're, not, they're, they're a little bit lazy. 
They yeah. just sort of single out Israel and they just, you know, it's they're, not just they're lazy, a, but, basically. But it's lazy. It, it's, but it's this, why is Israel so important to these people? And that's the, you know, that's the big question. Why? You know, it just... It's the only one they actually bother to care about. And they're fed by the media, and that's that. That's what they get. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, you say that, uh, or you ask why is Israel so important to them, but you don't ask why are the Palestinians so important to them. And there's a reason for that, because if you look at the history, the Palestinians are not that important to them. That's no. the point. It's all about hating on Israel and not on loving the Palestinians. Correct. It's again, never really about building. There. It's, it's yeah, always exactly. about destroying us, not... Anyway, we're starting and to I hear, be I'll tell, tell you what. I mean, I'm going to say something which, you know, you could argue is controversial, but I really believe it, is that we, as Israelis, care about the Palestinians more than most people do in the world. For sure. I mean, when they need medical care, we're there. Absolutely, um, every and we time. we want peace with them desperately. Yeah, we want peace with them desperately. But, you know, do you think the Lebanese, for instance, uh, care about them with, the, you know, letting the refugee camps fester over there or, you know, all these other Arab countries? I mean, can you imagine? But why I mean, are Israel, they refugees in other Arab countries? Why have they not been resettled? The, the, well, you know, we know the numbers. Used, exactly. Yeah. The numbers were they're even. They've been used as a tool. Yeah. Exactly. We know it. It's, it's a weapon against us. Ah, yeah. We'll live. <laughs> That's what I think. Well, that we will live, and that's that's the point, and I hate that. <laughs> I mean, that's that that story, that surprise hit last week. You know, that silly little BBC story that someone um, pointed out that the BBC acknowledging that the Berbers were the original inhabitants of North Africa before the seventh century Arab invasion, and now they make up thirteen million of Algeria's thirty-nine million people. I mean, that's like. That's an amazing admission from the BBC, which is basically saying the Arabs are imperial colonial conquerors. And it's exactly well, that, the same story I mean, in Israel. That, right, right. That was like an admission by inadvertence. Exactly. Uh, they weren't really thinking straight. That was like a, a little, you know, aside in another article that you, you picked up on. And, you know, uh, well done on that. Because, yeah, I mean, there are certain, you know, uh, facts that sort of, you know, go by the wayside. And people don't realize, they sort of take for granted, but you have to kind of stop and think about it for a second. Yeah. You know, and I, I, would, I would tell everyone listening and, and you know, who, whoever reads the blog to think, you know, don't even accept what we write on the blog. You know, do your research. Usually we provide links, but, you know, think for yourself. Don't trust the media. Don't trust anyone. But do your research. And, you know, I mean, I, at least in... in you know, I won't speak for you, but in in my case, I like to do research and and come to my own conclusions and don't be you know fed anything by anyone else. That's the that's absolutely the case. That's what we need to do all the time. Is think- oh wow! Now here we go. Let's see if this might be a bit tricky. What are you uh, trying to do? I'm trying to do something, you know, on the fly that I didn't set up, but uh, we'll see. You posted something funny about uh, Trump, so let's see if we can. Let's see if we oh, can play a bit of this. One. Forward a little bit not believe me that I went after my mother with a hammer. Yeah, this probably... Uh... He said he went after his mother with a hammer. He... That, was the, that was Darth Vader as uh, yeah. Trump. It probably needs you the visual. Need, you kind of need the visuals for that one. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll, we'll skip that. One needs to really I mean, I just, this stuff. If you haven't read the blog, just have a look. <laughs> um, you know, just go back. Uh, a bit of a plug. And yes. have a look at the Darth Trump post, which that might was... be on the front page, but you might need to go back another page. Yeah, uh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they they take scenes from Star Wars with Darth Vader in them, and they they interpose um, Donald Trump's you know real um, audio, and it just works beautifully. <laughs> There's another one I just saw now, actually, which is a few people are taking uh, Trump video clips of Trump, and then they're they're dubbing them with an English accent, and that's oh, also I love that. that that's oh, fantastic. He, he fantastic really, stuff. Both as a everything both as a cockney. Everything that everything sounds better with English. I, I you know what Except can I say? You. 
Except for you, funnily enough. My, yeah, my <laughs> crappy accent. So I think we should yeah. probably end this while we're ahead. Um, we've Are we been ahead? Going, That's the question. Well, we've been going for about 27, 28 minutes. And, Are you for um, real? Yeah, since we actually oh, started. Wow. We are. We are actually ahead, I think. So, yeah, I, th- I think we could make this. We could try and find some time to do this. Um, I, mean, I quite like this. This is usually podcast. a good time, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, a bit more preparation, perhaps, and some stories to talk nah, about. Preparation is overrated. <laughs> I say we go on the fly. We have a, a glass of wine, a bit of beer, and then we see what happens. You know what? I want to ask those who listened, all five of you, yeah. Um, woohoo! Um, to please, um, uh, where, where can I actually leave a comment? I want, I want some feedback because we can sort of speculate on how well this went or how badly this went. But if we get a bit of feedback, maybe on Twitter, if you can just Twitter, yeah, and just let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. If we should continue, if we should prepare, if we should just wing it, if we should drink more alcohol, just any constructive feedback. Seriously, will be great, and that can we can sort of um, go from there. Yeah. That's absolutely true. And I, you know, maybe I've recorded this and uh, maybe we'll decide whether this should be uh, put out as the inaugural. <laughs> <laughs> put out New. or actually, um, you know. Put out of its misery, and, and I hidden think. Hidden from public view. Yeah, so put out happens. of its misery. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, that's exactly. The let's see. Let's, let's get them feedback and then we'll take it from there. All right. I think that we should, uh, we should call it quits on that. And um, yeah. I All shall right. play us out and end this. Thanks very much. And Shabbat Shalom to you. Shabbat shalom to you. Shabbat shalom to everyone. And, um, yeah, have a great weekend, everyone. Excellent. Bye. Bye.